Hello and welcome everybody. In this lesson we're going to learn about creating a pipe network from a polyline in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll create a pipe network from an existing polyline which you can faintly see right here. It's in blue and it's right within our road right away. Now in this method of creating a pipe network You'll use standard AutoCAD drawing commands to create a polyline and then automatically create a pipe endpoint and structure at each polyline vertex. You can create a pipe network from a variety of entities including 2D and 3D polylines, AutoCAD lines and arcs, and feature lines. In this exercise, you'll use an existing 2D polyline. So let's go ahead and start creating a pipe network from a 2D polyline. Go ahead and open up your pipe networks 1A drawing in your tutorials folder. This drawing contains an existing ground and corridor surface. You'll also find alignments for 1st and 2nd Street, which represent intersecting road center lines. The drawing also contains parcels which you can see right here. Lastly, if we zoom in here, you'll see this blue polyline right here within the road right away that's colored in blue. This polyline represents the proposed pipe network layout. In the following steps, you'll create an AutoCAD Civil 3D pipe network from this polyline. Now in your Home tab, Go ahead and go into your Create Design panel and then select the Pipe Network drop-down. Next, select Create Pipe Network from Object. Our command line is now asking us to select an object. Let's zoom in to the left side of this blue polyline and click near the center of the road. The end that you click specifies the beginning of the pipe network. The network will flow away from this end, as you can see right here by this arrow. This arrow also represents the flow direction. Go ahead and press enter to accept the flow direction. In the Create Pipe Network from Object dialog box, go ahead and specify the following parameters. We'll give it a network name of Storm sewer, oops, sewer network. For the parts list, we're going to leave it on storm sewer. We also have some other options, but we're going to leave it on storm sewer for right now. But the pipe that we're going to create, we're going to change that, and we're going to switch it to the 450. Then we're going to select a structure that we're going to create and we're going to look through our list here and select the 1500 diameter. The surface name, select First Street. For alignment name, we'll select First Street. And we're going to erase our polyline once we've created our network. Now we can go ahead and press OK. The pipe network is displayed on the plan and a structure was created at each polyline vertex and a pipe was created in between each of these structures. Let's view the pipe network in the profile. Select a pipe and a structure. Then right click and select similar. We've selected all of our pipe network parts and then if we scroll over to the right hand side we can right click again and select draw parts in profile view. The command line is asking us to select a profile view. We'll go ahead and select this one. Now you can see that the pipes and structures are displayed in the profile view. Now this is the profile view for First Street. Notice that as you specified, 
the direction of the flow begins at the end station of the profile and proceeds toward the beginning station. Go ahead and escape out of your command. Now we're going to grip edit a network part. Select a pipe on the far side of the profile view. You'll notice there are grips that show up. Click the grip and drag up to increase the invert elevation. Click to place the grip. Now you can use grips to graphically change the position of pipes and structures in both plan and profile. Now let's edit some of the network parameters. Since we have our network selected, go ahead and right click and select Edit Network. Now we have the Network Layout Tools toolbar. Go ahead and go over to this button and click the drop down next to this structure. These tools enable you to add pipes or structures to the network using the parameters that you set in this toolbar. Another button we can take a look at within this toolbar is the Pipe Network Vistas button. We'll click to move our toolbar out of the way. On the panorama window, you can use the Pipes and Structure tabs to edit pipes parametrically. Let's go back into our Pipes tab, and then I want to focus our attention on pipe number one. We're going to change the start invert by clicking within the cell, and we're going to change it to 40. So now as a check, let's go ahead down into our Network Layout Tools toolbar and turn off our Pipe Network Vistas. Let's shut down our toolbar and then we'll navigate over to our pipe. And if we go under properties, you'll see that the start invert elevation has in fact changed. So that's how you go about creating a pipe network from a polyline in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.